Hi everyone, I thought we'd do a more detailed look at these uh, terminal block uh, connectors that fit on a DIN rail. Uh, I did a video uh, a little while ago just giving a quick overview, so I, so I thought I'd do something a little bit more detailed. So I've got here uh, two different sizes of terminal connector. So here you can see, uh, as you can see on the camera, I've got a 2mm squared and a 4mm squared, so you can see they're quite different in terms of their thickness. So first of all, let's look at how they connect to a DIN rail. So this is a standard 35mm DIN rail. And if I take one of the terminal blocks, you can see the way that it's constructed here. Uh, you've got these little recesses which clip over this lip on the DIN rail. Uh, and then the plastic by its nature is quite springy. So this piece actually pushes down on the DIN rail and makes sure that these two are pushed out and clamped in tightly on the DIN rail. So if I just show you how that works, if you take this back edge and then just put the edge of the DIN rail into the recess, you can see that, and then when you push down, that just clips into place. So it's clipped in here. And then if you look carefully at the bottom there, that piece of blue plastic is slightly bent. That's providing a spring force to keep that nice and tightly on the DIN rail. They don't all work like that. So that's how a neutral um, terminal block works. The live works in the same way, but the earth is slightly different. So I'll just show you an earth connector. So if you look at the earth connector, there's actually metal at the bottom. So this means that the earth terminals here are connected through these copper rails to the bottom and then they go through and therefore they transfer the earth onto the din rail itself so these not only provide a flow through for the earth they also make the din rail an earth bar itself so clip on very similarly just put it in the back here and then push and that's connected nice and firm and then you can see as i just said the earth will flow through onto the din rail providing you with an earth bar the only other piece worth looking at are these posts. So these posts go at each end of your row of terminal blocks and they provide some security to stop them sliding left and right. These connect on mechanically. So you can see these metal hooks, they will hook over the profile of the DIN rail and they do that by this screw. So if you see the flat headed screw in there, if I just do that up if you watch the you can see them retracting or coming out so they would clamp on to the din rail so if I just if I just do that just to show you putting one on so get the din rail clip, clip that in or slide it in whichever is easier then just just hold that in place put the screw in screw that up And you can feel that tighten up and that's it that's completely solid and you can see here the metal clamps you can see that yeah the metal clamps have gone over the bar so that gives that a nice solid connection so let's look at what the sizes look like so this is a four mil squared connector so this carries about 30 32 amps so let's just look at the measurements just switch this on zero that up do it in millimetres. So the thickness is 6.14 millimetres. I don't know if you can see that, 6.15. The height in total, including that spring block, is about 40 mil. So you need to take that into account if you're putting this inside a junction box, make sure it's tall enough. And then the width, let's have a look at that, at its widest is 41 mil. Just across that bit, a little bit less, that's 38 mil. So the way that these work, so let's just take the live uh, terminal block. So you can see one side is sealed with the plastic, the other side is open. Um, so looking inside, you can see here, there's a clamp on either side. So if you look, there's a little hole, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So the cable goes into this hole and then this clamp clamps it to this common copper bar so that once you've got a cable in here, the current can flow through onto this side. 
and then you clamp them if you can just see in the top there there's a Phillips screw at the bottom so if you put a screw in and you turn that you can see that clamp is raising up and then that would pull the cable onto the copper bar and give it a really good mechanical connection so work really well um, what happens is if you put this onto the DIN rail as I showed you before just clamp that in and clip that down you've got an exposed side so your options are you can either put a blanking plate on as you can see nice and thin that just clips on there and then that would isolate it but the idea is that is as you stack these terminal blocks up they isolate each other so if I get another um, terminal block and clip that on you can see now that this one has, in, has insulated that second one you see that there yep yeah. so that's insulated that and then the, the when you get to the end of the stack then you would just put a blanking plate on these come in different colors blue brown and earth colors uh, and then you've got each one is physically um, isolated from the other um, so I think that's pretty good by design uh, and then you've also got these positive rails so here you can see I've got two lives um, they are physically separate so the two wires that would come in and come out they are physically separate from each other if you wanted to have a common block of lives then you can use these little connectors they come in various lengths from twos and they just keep going up and up and up and then you can link as many of these together as a daisy chain so the way that works if I just take this neutral one I don't know if you can see that on camera so in the middle here um, there's a couple of square holes I don't know if you can see that very clearly on the camera just just about yeah just in there two square holes so that means the spikes on these connectors will go through here and into that common plate so if you can just about see on the camera in there there's two square receptacle holes so the way that would work is you would take your spike push that through and then if you I don't know if you can see that but if you push that through that's now let's just let the camera focus you can see that's gone through and connected so you can have a whole bank of these connectors um, neutral and live and you can just join them all together so you've got a common terminal block which I think is a pretty neat feature so the way that you would stack these up is in any combination that you want so you might have a couple of lives you can clip on a neutral just clip that on and then you can just build up as many as you want then you can decide if you want to keep them as physically separated circuits or if you want to join any together then you can do that with these little blocks the posts on the end give it a bit of mechanical security I don't personally think it needs it uh, they're pretty robust uh, as are so if that was all you wanted to do in this case then you could put another one of these on screw that together and then they're going to really mount that securely um, as I say they, they do quite a few different combinations so I've got here blue I'm in the UK so blue is neutral and brown uh, is live and then earth is a yellow and green combination Anyway, I hope that uh, gives you a bit more of a, a detailed uh, overview. Oh, one thing we didn't do was compare the two, uh, whether you've got a four mil or a two mil. So let's just take those off. You can see I take the neutral ones. The one on the left here is a two mil squared. Um, so that's about 16 amps. And the one on the right is four mil squared. That's about 30, um, 32 amps. So if I just do a comparison of the thicknesses, uh, so the two mil squared is five mil thick and then if we take the four mil squared they are six mil thick so only just a millimeter difference uh, to give it that little bit extra in terms of current carrying capacity anyway so that was a bit more of a detailed look um, next video will be me building up a complete stack of these and putting it into a junction box which I'm going to put uh, in a uh, in a mains outlet outside of the house anyway hope that helps if it does please consider subscribing and uh, maybe hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video take care everybody